What's going on viewers and Legend of Korra fans and welcome to Stoker and Gaming. Today we are coming to discuss the Legend of Korra Season 4 Episode 11. This video is a preview analysis to discuss and theorize the upcoming episode based on what we've seen so far this season, including Episode 10 and also the preview clip entitled War on the City that came out earlier this morning. If you guys want to check the clip, link in the description in the comment section. Go check it out. It's basically the first minute to two minutes of the episode, so it doesn't really spoil much of anything. And if you are outside um, North America, you might have to wait a little bit, at least a couple of days, because I don't think you are able to view it on Nick's site if you are outside the U.S. and Canada. But still, yeah, as you guys know, what we saw at the end of episode 10 left, it wasn't really a cliffhanger, but it was just general knowledge of what's actually going to happen in the near future. And that's basically one, Kavira has an operational Spirit Vine Cannon, which is very destructive and very powerful. And two, Zuli gave away the information that Kavira has plans to attack Republic City in two weeks, or at least two weeks from the end of episode 10, which is very crucial because this clip actually plays a role with that. In this clip, we basically see Kavira talking and rallying up the Earth Empire at Zalfu, basically stating what made it even more interesting was that she stated that Avatar Hang and Zuko stole, and I do mean stole, the land in the Earth Nation to make the United Nations. And what made this even funnier was the fact that she herself, throughout this entire season so far, has been going from towns and cities, place to place, and demanding and conquering land that isn't hers. And she has the nerve to say this in front of people. It's interesting because she's obviously very manipulative, and I'm getting the feeling or vibe that many of the people in Earth Nation are just incredibly, incredibly stupid. But still. And yeah, what makes this episode even more interesting is the fact that the episode title has Gambit in it. I say this because if you guys do know what the definition of Gambit is, it's basically something of using something to get what you want for something even of greater value. Take chess for example, sacrificing a pawn, maybe to get a rook, a bishop, a queen, and it makes clear sense because Kavira obviously thinks like that. She uses people and what makes it even more interesting was the fact that I have a feeling she might even use her fiance, Batu, to get what she wants. And I say this because, as you guys remember, at the end of season three, or at least the last few episodes of season three, there was a lot of crap that went on. A lot of people died. And at the end of episode 10 yesterday, we didn't really see a lot. So that kind of makes me think, Maybe something's going to happen, and yeah, and Batu would be the one that would actually it happen to. But still, what do you guys think is going to happen? Leave it up down below in the comment section. Till next time, I'll see you all later, so have a good day. Bye.